In this video, we will learn how to use append values action event of Google Sheets inside Pabbly Connect. So lots of users want to use this append values action event within their workflows and sometimes they are not sure how to perform the mapping or how to use this action event. So here I'm going to do a quick tutorial for the same. So here I have already connected Pabbly form builder in the trigger application and it is waiting for the response. And this is the form which I have connected. I'm going to fill this form with some dummy data so dummy is the name of the person user admin at the rate pablitudes.com is the email address of the person just a random phone number date of travel how about i am going to travel at 28th september number of travels let's say four plus destination city is sikkim traveling budget is let's say eighty thousand plus now i am going to submit this form your message submitted successfully going back to Pabbly connect and you can see the same response the same form submission data has been arrived here let me show you here is the name of the person the email of the person the phone number is here travel date is here number of travel travelers four plus destination city and traveling budget now i want to add the very same data i want to add these form submissions data to my google sheets and let me show you that i have already created one google sheet in advance and i have the same column name as of my form let me even show you that i have total one two three four five six seven eight so i wanted this eight entries eight form submission data to my google sheet so i have created the same one two three four five six seven eight okay so now i am going to connect my google sheet the same google sheets with pabli connect here choose app google sheets and in the action event up and values click on connect i'm going to use the existing connection only and here it is asking for the select spreadsheet well it is the same all traveling inquiries and now finally it is asking for the values the select sheet is also one because i have just a single sheet now finally i am going to map these values the data which we have just received in the response of pabli form builder i'm going to map the same data here in this particular value so how to perform this mapping read the instructions enter the row values inserted in the sheet as value one for a row use comma separated values value one value two so I want to add the data of these fields in my Google Sheets and in total I am having the data of around 8 fields. So here I will be adding 8 times this particular format. This is the format via which I can actually map the above data here. Okay, You'll have to paste the same format here and place a comma after this particular value after the first value and again copy this whole value and paste it once again. So I want to map around 8 values here so either I can paste the same format around 8 times or either I can do it one by one. So I am going to do it one by one. So it will be easier for me. And in place of value one, I want the first name should appear. Okay, so that is why here I am going to map from the above data the first name. Here is the first name, dummy. All right. And in place of second value, in place of second column, I want the last name. So again, I will map the last name from here. So let me search for the same. This is the last name. So basically these values, these formats are actually the column of your sheet. Let's say if you want to map your email address in the third column. So you will have to map the email address in the third format. So I am going to replace this particular thing. I'm going to delete this value one and will map the email address right from here. Where's the email address? Admin at the rate pablitudes.com. I have mapped it and this is how I am going to increase this column value from here so let's say i have eight columns here and three of them are already filled so i am going to paste the same thing for five more times okay three has already done one two three four five i have pasted it for five more times and let me map the values one by one after the email address i want the phone number of the person so that is why here i will map the phone number 
this is the dummy phone number which i have and now in fifth column i want the date of travel so after this phone number here exactly i will map the date of the travel let me search for the date here this is the date of travel after this destination city again come back here replace this value with your destination city Sikkim is the state here. Again, remove this seventh value, and here exactly I want the traveling budget. So again, I am going to map the budget from here. And last but not the least, here exactly in this particular column, in the last column, I want the number of travelers data. So again, I am going to search for the traveler data, and I have four plus travelers here. Okay, now I am going to click on save and send test request, and you will see what will happen. Well, it will give you an error. Why it is giving you an error? Well, I have done this mistake intentionally so that I can actually tell you that what should be not done. You can see I have left this extra comma here since I am having this data up to this particular column only. So that is why this last comma is actually not required. So make sure while mapping these values in the column, do not add any extra column here or any extra inverted comma also. Okay. So going to click. on this button once again and this time the response will be positive yes going back here and wait for the response and you can see dummy user here is the email address phone number date of travel destination city traveling budget and number of travel so this is how you can use this up and values action event inside your workflows and it is very easy but you just have to be extra careful while mapping the values in the column and lot of people will ask ask me that what is the difference in between up and value action event and in the add new row action event because the same thing can be done with the add new row action event as well well if you have a huge data in your google sheet if you want to add lot of data in your google sheet maybe up to this av column or after the az column i would recommend you to use this up and values action event because sometimes in this huge data while mapping this huge data this add new row action even can have some difficulties so if you have a huge data i would recommend you to use this up and values action event and this is how you can use this up and value action event inside pabli connect inside your workflows thank you for watching